this man is possible. Yeah, I just feel like Riddle just has the better victories mm -hmm. over Nitro right now. I haven't gotten to see it, so I definitely will be able to do some right. more research on that one. But we'll have to look on for us. So Roy versus Richter. This seems quite unfavorable for Richter. Actually. It can be. Yet again, Richter struggles against rushdown characters, but if you don't know what you're doing and against Richter, you six percent. Yep. Yeah, it's 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 definitely the game of uh, can Roy get in Richter's face because right. Richter's disadvantage is already horrible. And but with Roy, how he's able to get this punish game and easily find his way in, it's going to be a different story. But I love this. Um, I love the cross usage that Team Three Dome is using. All right. But oh, I love that trying to go for the up smash, but manages to follow it up with the dare instead or the the back air. Oh my! Did he get hit by the tick? Uh, maybe, but I feel I feel like he just realized that he didn't have a jump when he got hit by the the, the down B, and so he just upbeat a little bit too late. Uh -huh. he, I think he upbeat and he got hit by a tick right. of the holy water, but is able to get punished with that one. So T3 Dome, I enjoy his tag, just press B. Mm -hmm. That's from that's pretty prominent for Richter, and also. One of the best things that Rick can do to get out of this event is that up the out of shield. It is actually right. so good for him. But right now, Hamster just needs to find a way in. And Dash Tech not able to take it just yet either. Right. And oh I love that. God. Using the down B to kind of, or the down air to kind of just like go really quick towards the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, seeing this nice amount of play. But Richter, people talk about his projectiles, but all the top players know exactly that his aerials are really the big threat here. All right. Like, projectiles are annoying, but, like, it's the how you space the fair and the bear. It's the bear and the bear. They do so much. And great parry from both sides, but it was actually T3 Dome who was unable to find the punish in the weak spots. Yeah. This is where it starts to become very annoying, especially if you're the Roy player, that these weak spots are affecting your ability to kill. Right. Yet again, he just needs to find that one aerial to, like, kill Richter. But, you know, as he gets hit with all these little nickels and dimes, oh, it's slowly adding and up, and that go. will be death. The, the payment has come, and he has come to collect your debt. <laughs> and it looks like T3 Dome will cash in on that check. He'll move forward, and he keeps eating to it. It feels like that best hamster feels so overwhelmed. Finally gets it up to, he's starting to feel overwhelmed that he starts to even run into T3 Dome's face. Right. And moving forward, barely weaves around the cross, so he's going to be okay. But right now, T3 Dome is just looking for opening great usage of the Nairs. He's slowly using these aerials to discourage from best hamster from moving towards him, but the cross forcing out the air dodge, but no punish. And yet again, knowing the aggressive down air to kind of get back to center stage, I know working out for him, but I feel like uh, hamster just kind of needs to like slow things down a little bit, not get as like overwhelmed and flustered off stage, but he didn't even bother yet. I mean, that's how it feels. You start to get, that's like the job of the game. And if, in every fighting game, their job is to keep you away and start frustrating you until you literally start running into their heads. Right. Like, I forgot, it was uh, in Street Fighter 4, it was actually Knuckle Doo, who was so low on health, but he kept, uh, his opponent kept walking into his standard fear system and he was able to win. But right now, best hamster, he was doing a good job at first. He was able to find small openings, right. but it was just the fact that T3 Dome was able to basically just get away with it. Right away. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to go for the Mega Man yet again. This is one of those characters that, like, if he truly feels like rushed down, like an uncomfortable, he'll pull out the Mega Man just because he knows that, like, Mega Man, more mobility, like, more mobile zoning is what it is. Because, like, when you're going with Richter, like, you control more space, but you're more stationary. So if your character is fast and, like, can come in at that, like, 45 degree angle, then you can do really well against the Belmont. But also, uh, Mega Man has much better kill confirms with that saw blade. It's really good. We've seen him many times. His back air demands so much respect as well. And also, we're seeing that right now, best hamster. He may be struggling right now, but it shows how much he's really uh, put the pressure on TP Joe that he's moving on to Mega Man. All right. Tried carrying the up air, but Noah not going to be able to find it in time. Lands with a really aggressive back air, and he's going to get punished with it, and that's probably going to be death. Because no. no. Oh, but, but the down smash finally catches up the roll, so great job by Tinker Dome. Right. Nothing exactly what's going to happen. And I do believe that best Tinker bans uh, yeah. it Battlefield, because remember the, the Mega Man tag where you put uh, Rush on the top platform, so the Legend will then hold I mean, this, right. is, this was Best Hamster's... Uh, uh, counter pick, so. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, because T3 Dome won. Oh, so T3 Dome, okay. Well, unfortunately for him, he's not looking too good right now. These saw blades and these pals are just providing so much pressure for best hamster and actually gets hit in to the saw blades. So I like this pressure that T3 Dome's putting out. And yet again, ooh, snipes him with that two frame with the back air, and you no, know, he can't hang on ledge forever because honestly, his own projectile is like, gonna like projectile like camp him almost. 
Crash Bomb can be an issue to deal with, but Hamster going for an edge guard, very interesting. He does catch the Saw Blade while hitting with the Obvious, so that's really good for him. He needs to take the stock ASAP, though, because every single percent that he eats, it's going to be a big dismount. All right. That's kind of like the bad thing about playing Roy is that you can't just rely on a straight hit. Like, you need that sweet spot uh, close to box in order to kill. And he actually, T3 Dome got a little too greedy, used the brush, and jumped right into the best chance of space. He will say thank you very much. I'll take that stock right away. Okay. Here we go. Uh, just the beginning of the rush down, you know, but you know what? Using rush to yeah. avoid the rush down. If you like, hey, I, I see you rushing me. Let me let me hit my eject button and like kind of Let's get out of that combo. Cool. Yeah. And also one thing that Mega Man has, he's got such a good recovery because you right. can save your double jump. You can up be out of your double jump and you won't be in helpless. Right Dude. now, this master. Dude, what? you can up be, you can double jump, you can air dodge. It is like, it is such a good up be. Uh, and also one thing I really want to see with Hamster is a jab confirm into a back air. We have yet to see that. Perhaps it's TP doing a good job, making sure not to miss that opportunity. But 93%, that's where the confirm comes in handy. And I love this use of the saw blade, though. I love that, though. Uh, doing the, the one, two grounded hits and then jumping up for the third hit. Because the, the aerial hit has a lot more hits than a knockback. So that, like, if it does hit, like, it does send him away and, like, actually makes it, like, a useful move. And also, I love how Mega Man players each one has to use moves. Uh, like, right there, a great confirm with the saw blade with that Z drop. So T3 Dome taking it. I love T3 Dome's heavy usage of that saw blade. Though. Oh, yeah. It was such a good utility use of it. Mm -hmm. So. He's going to get taken out. Best Hamster will be moving on to the loser's bracket. But there's also right. one thing. Um, I love T3 Dome. His use of the blade was good. Right. He was spot on with those kill confirms. Oh, yeah. And 